Hello everybody, welcome back to Unars Cake Tips, thanks for joining me again. Today we are going to work on another animal figurine, but it will be a particular one. So uh, we have an order to make a cake with the uh, Wall Street, New York, New York Wall Street team. So uh, maybe you have seen yourself, uh, if you've been in New York, and maybe you have seen from internet. So uh, there is one big uh, giant uh, bull statue. Basically, what are we going to do? This will be a high cake, will be a New York uh, sort of uh, uh, skyline around the cake as a kind of texture. And then also, uh, I like to use that particular bull on the cake as a topper. So, I'm not going to worry about too much about the cake part, but the only the bull uh, will be a good topic for the tutorial today. And these are the things, uh, what you see on the table, I'm going to use. As I always do, I get some uh, information. Uh, from the internet. So this is a kind of reference pictures. Uh, you can find hundreds of pictures of course in the internet. Uh, but what happened is like uh, I found a nice one for the front so I can see the, the face details over here very nicely. And that is uh, I think uh, somebody else did it but I will probably use this one more as a reference. And then I will have also uh, this picture uh, which is the side view, which is very important because the way of how I do the animal figurines, I need to have a side view to have the nice profile that I can follow. So that is good uh, from this side. And then that's the uh, the back side, which is has a lot more detail on it. Uh, I'm going to follow up that as good as possible. So uh, I couldn't find the other side, but what I did, I just went to Google Map and then placed myself uh, uh, virtually on the street and then look at the bull from around and then find that this picture uh, show me the other side uh, That little girl over here. It doesn't matter. So I will have some information also from this picture So we have enough reference to work with no problem at all So I'm going to use as I always do pastillage to make the animal is standing on on four legs and then uh, I did that before, you have maybe remembered that uh, I did a little horse uh, tutorial. Uh, I used uh, uh, two half body parts and then joining together to make the whole body. So I'm going to use the same technique again. So uh, these are the pastillage, I think around 600 gram here. And then cutboard is the, to place the half bodies and let it dry. I use this corrugated cutboard because it's breathed a little bit underneath. It will dry nicely. And then I use, uh, because the body is very heavy, so I can't just rely on pastillage to keep the um, uh, whole body in a kind of uh, securely on the cake. I will use some wire inside the legs, uh, which I use the uh, craft wire, aluminum craft wire, which is, uh, this is three millimeters, it's quite a thick one. Uh, so um, that is quite a good idea because flexible and at the same time strong enough. So uh, plastic knife always use uh, for the kind of cutting pasta and everything. I use that uh, hard fat. But you can always replace that with the normal shortening. I just uh, use on my hand and also on the table to make it like not so slippery, especially working with pasta is a good idea. So I have a plier to cut the wire, I have a knife. Um, this is uh, quite important to, to show you. If I don't use any wire inside the legs, I will use cut boards like this uh, and then to lift the leg up. Like this kind of angle here to lift the leg up so the leg can stand in four open position that the body can stand properly. I will show you when I was when, when I'm doing later on. So uh, what is the alternate way if you don't use any wire inside the legs, all right? Oil spray, uh, styrofoam block is very important. Polystyrene block is very important because I can work on the styrene, uh, polystyrene to, to coloring and everything. I maybe use something a little bit larger, but I will get it later on. So uh, some modeling tools, uh, which is a good set over here, but uh, I have also one a little pen, uh, the other side is like a letter opening part. That's very useful because it's sharp and also flexible at the same time. I have a little round the corner here, roundish here, I may use for some parts. Uh, maybe just the, the ribs over here, the indentation for that. Uh, color wise, I will use, uh, this is, this statue has a sort of bronze look. And then I mix it with some copper, uh, uh, luster with a gold luster mixed together to get a bronze uh, kind of like uh, look and I have also used I will also use chocolate color 
dark brown and then some black to get the base color after everything finished of course airbrush uh, set you needed to make this one properly so uh, when we doing that body uh, you will see me i'm going to do the body quite uh, flat but later on i will add some uh, muscles on it i will not going to go more detail now uh, i will talk about it while i'm doing it you will understand better so uh, next thing is i like to condition my pastry dash to get ready to work with so as you see over here, pasta is not ready to work with because it's quite hard. So that's about 200 gram each. I put in the microwave about 10 seconds. So 200, take one zero off, uh, 20 divided by two is 10. That is a kind of like a direction to how much, how many seconds you need to condition uh, pasta in the microwave. So that's what I will do. I'm not gonna waste your time. I will get ready and then follow up with the uh, producing half bodies. Let's start from the, uh, the method of two half body which is like the, I use uh, very often if I make a pastelage animals, which is standing on uh, four legs, all right? So what you have to do, uh, as I said, you have to find a side picture of the animal, and then you place some uh, like transparent sheets. It could be a PVC sheet or kind of like a cellophane sheet. It doesn't matter what is it. So then you take a permanent marking pen, and then you draw the, the body, and then the back leg accordingly, and we're gonna add the front leg after. So I like to always add also head after. So that means the neck coming from here, and then it stops around there, all right? Stops around there. And then uh, all the way here, turning around, and then like this, uh, like that, and goes like this, and like that. And that is the, the back. And then this leg goes like this. And I'm gonna make the hoof later on. So I like to achieve only this part and then hoof later on. So as you see from the front picture here, this leg is actually the whole body leaning on it. So I'm not gonna lift on this one and I'm gonna only lift on this and make it longer, all right? So uh, that's why once we have that, and then I like to put the front leg is around that, like this. Something around that part, like that. And then that is all what I need at this stage, all right? So what I want to do, uh, I will use this part to make the, the left side. And after that, if you look at from the front to right side, and I will use, turning around, use this one to make the other half body from the other side, all right? So uh, I hope that you understand. I am doing the neck, the body, and the back leg uh, all together, and I add the front leg after according to the position. All right. So uh, let's get this uh, uh, marking pen, let it dry. We condition the pastillage to work with. What I do usually that um, I need to have two body exactly same weight. So that's why I trial a little bit, which I did. I just take a piece of pastillage and I turn. On, not on top of this template, I use it the, the, the picture and then turning around and I make the right amount. So it was about 200 grams. Then I measure two times 200 grams. So this is one, another one is here, ready to go. So I don't have to worry about how many grams. All right. So uh, let's start conditioning this again. Pasture is in good condition. I don't need to have the hard fat. So always start from the round piece, right? I like to keep this one here, okay? All right, that's the front side, all right? That's the front side, and that will be then the back. I guess something like that, all right? So let's look at it here and push it down. So I make sure that the sides are sharp here. So you get the exactly round corner, all right? So like that. And then as you see that I'm already following the shape. When it comes to this part, so turning like this, like that, and after that, turn like this. So as you see that the leg is already done, Right. 
And this is like sharp corner here, sharp corner there. All right, and after that, we have to do the wire. So the wire is already pre-cut. So I'm just gonna push this one in here, like that. And leave it like this. And after that, I will use, I'd like to keep it so upwards like this, holding like that and turning and touch down. So as you see, that is already pretty good position. All right, that, that little bend, keep the leg up. And then the front leg will come here. I just put a bit of indent here, like that. That's it, simple as that. As you see that there's no muscles yet, I will add muscles later on. So I take here this one and put it here that is ready to go. Then I'm gonna work now on the other side, okay, on this side. So over here is that front leg is will be different because it will be like longer and stretched to the to the other side as you see it as you see it here. You see that difference? The front leg is very short and very long over here. Actually the same leg of course, but this is like a bended, the other one is not bended. Alright? So we worry about this one later. I just want to do this one first. Alright, while this uh, passage is still soft. Alright. Let's go. Another two one come here. I need to have a little bit of stickiness. And of course you need a really good speed. Let's go here. Okay, pretty good. And then we work with this one now. This one. Slightly also up. See what I meant uh, just now, uh, this one can be used underneath here if we don't use the wire like this, all right? This is what I like to tell you. So the legs is good, the body shape is good, muscles are missing, I don't worry about it. And this one now uh, come from here, this part, because it will be much longer, all right? All right, let's put this one here now. That's it. So as you see over here, the both body is pretty sort of like a, in the parallel shape, all right? In a sort of like symmetrical shape, all right? Good. I'm gonna now condition the past years again and start working with the front legs. Okay, I just uh, changed the position a little bit. Uh, as you see on the picture here, the head is down. It's like the body, front part of the body is down. So I just place it like this. And then this one has to be parallel or like equal with that. Symmetrical with that. So uh, we have to understand where the floor line is. So that line here, what you see over here, that's the front line. So we make sure that all the legs, doesn't matter how position, different position you do, have to be all on the same level, all right? That's why I'm gonna position the legs accordingly and this one especially come like that. But when I look at from top view, it has to be on the same level, all right? So let's do it, very simple. First of all, I'm just estimating that will be then sort of like the amount. I have to make sure that both of them are same size. Okay, let's try it first. Don't have to do it, just try it. So that, that body is really, really strong. Right? And then something like this, 
it has to go somewhere around here and then stay like that because as you see from the front from the front uh, where is the picture so that that leg is actually go underneath the body so that's why I will do it I will leave it like this all right so that is approximately right if I look at this picture approximately right but I have to get sort of like like this because still the hoof is missing all right uh, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller a little bit smaller so bolt reduce and let's do it in the meantime I prepare some egg white egg white is a very good solution to glue pastillage to pastillage all right so bit of oil before the hoof that goes like this I think so all right just a little bit of egg white here a little bit of egg white here make sure it's nice and sticky and stick it on here and then let it be Right. And we don't worry about those parts because we're gonna use some filler in there. And I use my this one again, a little bit egg white for an easy entry. And I like to do it this way. So, when I look at from top view, it's exactly right, all right? So, let's do this one now. This is a bit more challenging, all right? Where is that? Just like this. Now I have to look at it from top here. Yes. All right. I have here a longer one. So when I'm entering, I also turn left and right. Okay. Just go up a little bit like this. And bend this like that. And stand. So I can see that when I look at from top view, I can get everything. You see, this leg is longer than this, but this is bending, so shorter. And the position is correct. Position is correct, and they're all in the same level. I have still one more chance when you when I put the half ball hoops that I can level it again one more time. All right. So that is all for today. So I like to leave this one 24 hours at least till tomorrow. Uh, then will be nice and get dry and we're going to glue it and then we're going to position the legs and now we're going to further continue with all the details on top of the uh, polystyrene because I'm going to I'm going to pop this inside here and work it out everything uh, uh, by like having security. In the meantime before I do that actually I'm going to add some muscles maybe underneath. All right. So that is the uh, sort of like plan I have. So I'll take a break now and then after that I'll be with you tomorrow. Hello again, this is the next day. I would like to explain you first what I did while you're not watching. First of all, I roll some pastillage and I give a bit of like a brick texture here and I cut irregularly on the sides just to create a kind of like a reality that uh, as it is. 
So we have here like a, a block stones on the on the base on the floor, uh, so that the bull is standing on that kind of texture. I want to get this exactly the same. Uh, I will give a color on this as a gray tone uh, before. I do the all the other colors or separately, so we will not gonna uh, mess it up when we applying color on the bull and then something else on here. All right, and I have also a larger form here. Uh, at the assembling stage, I will need to use that. As I said always, uh, I don't hesitate to recondition paste for different purposes. So we have this pastilla here. I'm going to continue doing things with that, like the head and then horn and ears and everything. But at the same time, I like to add some muscles in one stage. So what I did, I take the same pastilla, I add a little bit more water inside. I make the pastilla softer texture so I can apply flat pieces on the dry surface and then it will be easier to uh, work with that. At the same time, I add more water into some pastillage and bring to the sort of pipeable stage, which is like softer. So if I pr give enough pressure here, I can pipe the pastillage like this, okay? So that will help me to weld things together. So I can apply the muscle and then it will not gonna kind of smooth uh, on the edge. I will use that one and apply a bit water to make it nice and smooth, all right? So 24 hours, maybe more than that, passed, and then our bodies are nice and hard. So as you see, that is nicely done, but the joints over here is to be nicely smoothed later on. First thing I like to do, uh, I'm going to get this wire straight. So basically, when we poking all those wires, we didn't worry about like where that wire is going. So it has to be all going downwards, like straight downwards, so we can poke all together, all four together into the, uh, into the sponge. So I'm not gonna force anything. I'm just gonna hold just from the end bit, and after that, making straight, just like this, all right? I'm not changing any position, nothing at all for the leg, only worrying about the, the wire, all right? Very straight, here. Just to worry about this one a little bit to make sure that it's not hurting anything. Like that. No. Goes like this. Okay, then this one up a little bit. Like that. So next thing is I like to make them all in the same size. Not so That's done. That's moving a little bit, but it doesn't matter. It will it will hold, no problem at all. And then here's shorter. All right. Every time you cut little wires like this, make sure immediately remove from the table. So we cut only three, so this one has to go. All right. I think this one's still too too long. That's it, happy with this one now. So now, next thing is we have to get this thing uh, nice and glued together. But having said that, anything I use here to, to glue this, this uh, uh, the body parts, all right, what will happen is you need to have time, time to dry, but not chocolate. So if I use white chocolate, it will, it will stick together all in once, all right, so. Just have a little bit of chocolate here. And all what we need, a little bit of hold, that's all. So make sure that before chocolate gets dry, nice and easy to make sure like you using like symmetrical. All right. That's it. Just hold it till to set. Now, as I mentioned before, I'm going to add some muscles on the body. Uh, we have all around the, the body, we have to add some muscles. So 
actually, it is a good idea because I can hold the body at the moment in the hand. So I like to add some muscles and parts that which is need to be done at the lower part of the body uh, while I'm having comfort holding and adding on now. So if I if I put it put it down. Uh, it will be very difficult to work underneath. So I already start with the with this uh, private parts. I'm going to continue with the uh, upper part here. So uh, as you see over here, there is one uh, big sort of chest bone here over here, and I like to add this part. Just take some of this uh, soft pastillage. All right. A bit of oil is a good idea. This, I think this should be enough, this much. So, a little bit of egg white here, egg white, and I think I have to do a little bit more longer this part. Just like this. Longer and at this here. That's it. So Now, as I mentioned, I like to add my pipeable pastillage on the gaps, just around here, around here, which I cannot go there later on. Here, and here, around a little bit here. Okay, that's it. Water. See, water is like making everything nice and welding together, right? When this is dry, we'll be all looking good. You have seen me before doing this with the royal icing, but this time I'm going to use only pastillage. It's a different technique. All right, this is done. Now, next thing I like to do, I'm going to add these hoofs. Hoofs are basically half spheres, so I have to make a four half sphere. So I just have to portion first two ball. That should be good. Okay. Cut in half. That's it. So that all has to come to each leg. All right. Now, what we do? Just put some here, so we can also weld later on. All right. So position that should go about this way. Let me see. That's pretty. Right. Can still work it out later on. Next one is here. Okay, now at this stage, what I like to do, 
I'm going to make sure that I'll have preparations in this area that we have uh, locations that make uh, the lake goes in. Tell you what, this easy way to do, just make a little bit of this one here. Yeah, this one there. And then when you go down and touch. The one here. All right. This one goes here. And I have to make some holes here. All right. So I find this a bit too much this way. So I'm just going to get uh, everything a little bit in front. All right. So this one here. Just about one centimeter here. That's the hole. One centimeter this way. That's the hole. One centimeter this way. We're gonna make a little bit bigger hole so it will be easy to go in. This one just right here. Okay. Take it out. That's done. So when everything finish, we have those preparations. We will not we will not struggle at all. Okay. That's it. Put this on the side. No, we're gonna work with this one now. All right. Uh, my next thing is I like to secure that uh, that body here so I can work further on it without holding anything. All right. So I do the same thing. I put a little bit here. Okay. That's it, I know where it is. Now. Okay, carefully put in here. That should go easily. That's it. We are already secure. So I just play a little bit more, positioning that, positioning that. That's correct, and that's correct. So I like to do now a bit of welding around the hoops. Next thing I like to do the head. I make a little trial, and 30 gram pasta yards will be just right, uh, just right for the proportional size. All right. So good condition pasta yards. Nice and cold and elastic, uh, still pliable. And then uh, your hands are nice and clean and a little bit of oil. It helps always. So it, like everything else, start with a round ball. All right. I have a good uh, sort of like a, a reference here, the picture. So first thing, the ball. And after that, I'm going to make a little sort of like a, a little uh, bean shape or a kind of like pear shape here. All right. The nose is quite high in here, all right, like this. And then it's got also very big, sort of like a uh, cheeks. I just do this, kind of shaping here first, all right, like that. And put a little bit of water here, just a little bit, and then stick it on here, all right. This is look like that part. Of the head, right? So make sure it's not slippery. That's a good start, right? So as you see that big uh, cheeks over here, like that. A little bit of oil will prolong the working time. Okay. Now, first thing I like to do, I want to cut them out. Right? Just cut here, like that. And I like to give that lower part something like that. All right, that's already cut. And uh, 
first uh, teeth. All right. Okay, so far so good. Then I like to put the nostrils. Good. All right. Now the the horns will be will be around here. So I like to prepare the position that will be the here the horns and here. So the eyes we will add later on. So that part will be really helping to, to join together. Right? I just put a little bit of chocolate here in this area. Right. And then just coming here and Head uh, here like that. The chocolate will help me just right away dry and hold. And make it a bit more smoother on top here. Should be a bit more like this. That's it. Just have to add the add the ice. That look good. I already did one of the eye on the right hand side. I'm gonna do the left hand side with you. So when I look at over here, right hand side, left hand side, I did already. So uh, basically, uh, I used exactly the same amount of uh, pastillage, exactly the same amount. So I just make a little bit of moisture around this area. So it sticks. Right. That's it. So then I use this one like this, position like that, and then push it down. Make sure it's symmetrical. I make sure that nicely sit in here. Just one sort of a half a, half a sphere. All right. There. That's it. All right. Now I like to get um, this one. Sort of like a halfway through, push it down like that, and then before this happened, everything I like to make it one more time. That's the eyelid, all right. Eyelid. I don't worry about the lower part, all right. That's it. So that's already done, and then. Uh, we just go from top down. Okay. All right. It's sometimes just hard to find the right tool immediately. All right. That's done. Now this part, I'm going to push it down and then also that one has to be like melt with the other part of the head, right? like this. Use this one.
that's it. Then after that, I'm just going to make like some cavity here for the eyeball. Right. Then take a piece of pastillage. Very small piece. A little ball and a little bit of moisture. Just drop it inside. Then push it in nicely. That's it, the eyes is done. Now we're gonna start putting some more muscles. Okay, basically I'd like to identify first what kind of muscles we're going to do. We're going to first of all cover this area on the neck and we have a big hump over here, which we have to do this one. And then after that we have also ribs here on the left and right side, all right? And then maybe just around the legs a little bit, then we should be able to already finish that way. All right, let's start from the neck. So I put a little bit of oil on the table so nothing sticks. That should be good. Like that. I like to put a little bit of water here, like that. Okay. Just to cover that area nicely. We still have to do like welding. All right. Okay, there's one hump on the top here, this part. Just more than that. Okay, there's two, two sides. Same size as the way. Yes, approximately the same. Oily table and that should be good enough. That should be here, something like that. Not wet enough. Turn this way. And that should be like that. Not so obvious, has to be less. Okay, the other side. Not so obvious. Okay, then on top here.
Right. I think I have to do a little bit here. One more muscle here. Water is a really nice kind of solution to make it everything smooth, especially pasta yard work will be very good. Like that. Right. Now, let's do the ears and the horns. Okay, uh, since that we need a harder horn, I like to do the first horn and then let it dry. So it is very simple. Do this, it doesn't matter how long is it, you just have to cut the right size. All right. All right, we're going to just use the end bit. I think this is good. So I guess that is the right size, like this, and this one, like that. So we just have to cut this much, and this much, yeah, let it dry for a while, just a few minutes, all right? And I will use this one for the ears. All right, just use this. Pick up that. And use the scissor. That should be something like that and something like, like that. And that should go around here. Let me see from the side. Oh yeah, that's a bit, bit, bit more back somewhere, yeah. here let me see that's pretty good all right is it dry not yet i just wait for a few more minutes do some cleaning and come back so, while the horns are getting dry, I like to use that time to uh, do the tail first. So 
So let me do this part first. That should be something brush. Right. That should be good. Cut this off. All right. Now, is it wet enough? No. Bit of egg wet. This area. Let's do this one up here first. I like to have this one in there, so I just put this one here for time being. Okay. Just a few minutes, I'll take it off after that. Alright, so let's get the horns done. A uh, little bit of this, the liquid, liquid uh, pastillage on both sides. Hold both together. And then just know the position is upwards. That's it. Next thing to do, wait for a while, this one remove and start coloring. Okay, I'm ready for the coloring. I have uh, black powders and chocolate brown powder here. First, I like to make the black. I actually want to achieve the uh, gray color. All right, so I'm just gonna spray a bit dark and after the clean up on top with the brush. So that should be good. Make sure that when you have a black uh, powder color, dilute nicely. Otherwise, we'll be going to the, go into the, that's good, beautiful. That should be enough. All right, let's put this on the side. That should be good. Uh, what I can do, I can spray a bit of water on top. Like that and clean up. Just like this. And use the clean side, just like that. I want to make it more gray. So, clean more to get the right color. A little bit more. That's what I want. So, deeper color is stay darker. That's exactly what I want. So that the, that's the color here, all right. That's good enough. Place it here, I don't need this one. And clean. Now, for the bull, uh, as you see over here, 
there's almost black on the back and then a bit of brown on the top, but more like this this part here, I like to have a bit of like a, a bronze uh, powder. So, it is spray. So, a last bronze metallic color. I'm going to spray not complete coverage, but just some parts. I like to, first of all, I want to make sort of like a quite a dark brown. All right. So, um, if I put a little bit of water here in the brown, and we can check the color how it looks like. Maybe we don't need black, but um, I believe that we need some. All right, check it again. That here. And is this correct? Uh, I think I need black. So just add a bit of black here. All right, mix it again. I think we are right with this one. All right. Now, carefully, I want to spray that. Black is back. Here, put a little bit of water inside here and spray it out. Into the bin. Then start with the other color. All right, just careful. All right, reference picture here, here, here. Okay. Okay, that's pretty good. What I like to do now, I'm going to let this one dry for a while. And after that, I'm going to start with the uh, gold color. Okay, it is dry. I can actually lift it up if I want it. No problem at all. So I'm just going to give it some sort of like a bronze gold looking sort of shade. I will, I'm not intending to, to spray everywhere but some sort of like uh, shade on it. Uh, this is the gold and uh, copper mix together uh, with the alcohol, which uh, I think I put some vodka inside there. I think I'm pretty happy with this one now. It looks quite, quite sort of like statue-like. Uh, I'm gonna let it dry for a while and then lift it up and placing on this, on this base. So it is all good. Carefully lift up, straight up, and there's a hole exactly the same spot as you remember that we done it in the right way, and then just place it in. So. Uh, after I place this on the cake, I will glue them with some chocolate underneath, so they dissolve. Uh, let me just show you from all directions. I quite like it. It looks quite similar to the other one. So uh, I hope that you understand my uh, basic aim or main aim. I would say uh, it was not uh, teaching you how to make the Wall Street bull. So my actual aim is to show you the basic principles of how can you achieve 
some heavy animals like this, like maybe elephant or hippopotamus, something like that, you need to have some wires inside the legs that to hold the whole body. So uh, I hope that you enjoy it and you get a couple of tricks from that. Uh, that is all from me, guys. Thank you so much for watching me. God bless you all. Until to my next tutorial. Bye for now.